hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel thank you guys for the like share comments as well as subscribe so let's get into it i'll make sure my shirt is down so let's see spirit guys universe ancestors of the highest white light messages so the two of cups wanted to come out first okay building a bond building a friendship okay you can just be building a connection more within the divine or you're needing to connect more with the divine okay you can have an an ancestor that's a leo okay or you can have a guardian angel guard uh, guiding you okay or around you okay when it comes to your partnerships friendships or whatever it is that you're building okay whether it's within yourself because this two cups can also be coming can mean coming in divine soul union with yourself okay balancing out duality so it's like balancing out your emotions and being grounded. So being grounded is the masculine energy, being in your emotions, balancing out your emotions is femininity. Okay. So you're definitely balancing out your masculine feminine energies within you. Okay. Coming into union with yourself. All right. Some of you guys are still working on that. Okay. Finalizing, fi I said finalizing. Finding out what balance you out. Yeah. The two of pinnacles. Okay, so the more that you balance out yourself, balance out the masculine, feminine energies within you, it's helping you bring in a potential helpmate or a potential person or relationship. Okay, you could be also trying to balance out your finances or you're just more into like planning when it comes to your finances. So you definitely could be saving money. Okay, you get I heard a lot to offer. So you could have a lot to offer at this time. Okay. So you could just be feeling like you're being pulled all over the place or from a lot of different directions. Okay. You might need friends might need your support or you might need be in need of friend support. Okay. Whichever way. Whichever <laughs> what the heck? Whichever way, excuse me. Okay. So you could be definitely tongue tied. Okay, so you can definitely have a lot going on right now, but they could be in the mental space as well. Okay, it's something that you're wanting to progress in, okay, or you're needing to progress more into. So, we got the devil energy, so you can still be holding on to some form of toxicity, okay. Or it could be a relationship or a friendship that's causing you to feel as though that it's um codependent. So a friend could be very codependent on you. Okay, this person could be having you very much in balance within your energies. Okay, so you might need to balance out your energies. Five of cups. Okay. Someone could also be mourning the loss or the sadness of a friendship. Okay, someone feels as though they lost a good friend is what I'm getting. So you could have been a good friend to someone or a person could have been a good friend to you. Okay, something could have went imbalanced with the two of pentacles to where it made it to where as though you were juggling or you had a lot going on. Okay, and it made the relationship fall apart. Okay, yeah, five of wands. But this person sees you as a good friend. Page of, pentacles, page of cups. So you definitely was a good friend to this person. You had a good bond, good friendship, good relationship. Or this is somebody feeling they this way with you. It could have been a lot of tension and conflict around you and this person, or a lot of comp competitive energy. Okay, you could have had this person in the third party, or this person could have had you in the third party. Because you see how she's crying over this um, cups, these cups that spilled over. Seven of Swords and a Magician, Ten of Swords. Okay, so it's like some deceptive energy surrounding you. Okay, or this person. This could have been like a divine soulmate with this two of cups energy. It could have started off like rocky. I'm hearing turbulence. Okay. It could have been a lot of competitive energy between the two of you. You could have felt as though this person was putting you in competition with other people. Okay, so this could be a Capricorn or you can have Capricorn in your chart or you are Capricorn. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. What's this five of wands? 
Whoa. Okay. So we got the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords in reverse with the High Priestess. Hmm. You could have caught on to someone's games or someone's tactics. Okay. Whatever this person was doing to make you like. Because this page of cups could be like this person just wanted to get your emotions. Like they just wanted to take your emotions from you, figure you out. Okay. See what it is that you really feel about them. Like this person wanted you to open up. This person wanted you to be vulnerable. This person wanted you to express more to them. Okay. And as they, as you was opening yourself up or expressing more to this person, it gave this person some form of gateway to like tap in and out of your energy is what I'm getting with this devil and his two of pentacles. So it could have made you feel like very fragmented with this five of wands. Like you was fighting off an energy of someone that was trying to tap in and out of your, I'm hearing solar plexus. It makes sense because these pentacles are yellow. So if I'm not mistaken, that's the solar plexus energy. So someone was definitely trying to tap in and out of your solar plexus energy. This could be a close friend of yours, okay? The two of cups, okay? This person could have like some form of secret obsession or hidden like towards you, okay? It could be two females, a guy and a guy. Or it could be a guy and a female or whatever the case may be. You place the energies where it go, okay? I guess this person wanted to put you in this five of cups energy to where the you feel some form of embarrassment or some form of shame. Okay. But you could have caught on to the tactics because the seven of swords is in reverse. But you are this very intuitive person. Okay. The queen of cups and the high priestess, you're very intuitive. Okay. This person felt as though by you saying you're, because you are a very empathic person. So seven eleven on the clock. So this person was definitely trying to like suck and draw in your energy. This person could have had some form of intimidation towards you as well. The devil and the five of wands. Let's see who this Capricorn energy is. Spirit guides, please. It's like this person was mark mock. Okay, mock. Look. It's like this person was marking you. Thank you, Spirit. It's like this person was mocking you. I need some water, y'all. My mouth is dry. But it's like this person was mocking you. Yeah, and then this person probably was going behind your back laughing with other people, engaging with other people, celebrating with other people, okay, partying with other people over your achievements, over your accomplishments. Because you definitely... Because look, this is funny though. Because on this Two of Cups card... You see how this person got their hand out and you're about to give all your vulnerable, all your vulnerability to this person. And I just did a post about that. Okay. This person was playing on your vulnerability. Okay. Male or female. Because they knew that this page of cups that you had to give or offer was fully emotions. You're standing in this water. You're standing in the emotions. Okay. You only came on surface to get grounded, to be, to meet this person halfway. This person didn't want to meet you halfway. They just wanted to come in and take from you. That's why the seven of swords are reversed. You could have caught on to this person and what they were trying to do because you felt this person tap in and out of your energy. That's why I said you have like a guardian angel or ancestor that's a Leo energy surrounding you, protecting you or over you. Okay. That's why I want to see who this devil energy is. This person could feel bad because they was the cause of why you was feeling fragmented, okay? Or why your energy felt like it was out of whack or why you felt like you were just all over the place with this two of pentacles energy. But you already knew intuitively and you sensed it, okay? Because whatever this person was trying to get away with, it didn't work. Seven of swords. So let's clarify this devil energy. Then we're going to get into the seven of swords for you guys, please. Because this person wanted to make a mockery out of you. Okay, spirit. That's what I'm saying. On the last reading, I did pick up on someone that you was dating or dealing with was putting up smoke and mirrors. A bunch of illusions. Okay? And it's like, the more you become 
I don't know why I heard imperative. So I'm, I'm guessing. So the more you slay these demons or whatever the case may be that's in your life or that's trying to get into your world or get into your atmosphere, or get into your reality, the more that you become a strength of power, okay? The more of a vessel, it's hard for them to take down. Because this person was doing everything that they can with this five of wands to take you down, to put you in this five of cups energy. Okay. Yeah, it's like your ancestors was already on it. They declined that offer. They like, no, 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 buddy. This person has bigger and better things to do, accomplish, and achieve. They got to keep going on their journey and on their path. We don't have time for mind games, manipulation, and illusions. But it's like, it's not like you was letting other people lead you. It was for ancestors, I'm telling you. Because look, the six of swords. After this, the offer, 11, 11 on the clock, came in. That was given to the devil. Because this person gave some form of an offer to the devil. Okay, around you, within you, surrounding you, which caused you to start feeling fragmented. Okay, you couldn't even start feeling like hot and cold or heat flashes, or you just feel like why your energy level just feel like you're not at your best. Okay, it was because this person was giving offerings. Look, and it got rejected. Four cups, your ancestors moved it out of the way. Then after this, we had the two of wands. As your ancestors moving you out the way, because it came out like this. As your ancestors moved you out of the way with the Six of Swords energy, I'm going to do it like this. You was already continuing to be guided, but you wasn't blind, okay? you It's like with this cell phone right here, it's like you was connected. Like you always was connected. You had the first thing smoking, the hotline blame to the divine. That's why I said at the beginning of this reading, you are very much connected into the divine. Like you get whatever messages that you're supposed to receive or know. So you're always receiving downloads. And this person just couldn't make out or seem to figure out why they couldn't defeat you and put you in this five of cups energy. Because once again, you already knew what was going on. You understood the assignment. Okay? This is crazy. So as you're going along on your journey, this is you. You still got this wand in your hand because you know you have foresight. You know where you're supposed to be heading, what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, as you get into this five of swords energy, now you're going into some form of spiritual warfare, it's mental conflict, because as you got it, you got to keep moving. Okay, you cannot stop or stand still on this journey, even if these devils keep trying to come towards you and attack you, because the more you ascend, the bigger these devils become. Okay, but you always was connected. You got that main hotline. All you had to do is tap into that hotline and you're able to go right on through these smoke and mirrors. So it's like, as these people are failing tests, you're passing tests. That's how you're able to still move forward with this two of wands. Find some sense of direction. Okay? That's how you're able to defeat and slay these people and get through these smoke and mirrors and these illusions that they try to put over your head. Okay, they come in and pretend like they're going to be. I'm hearing that song on SpongeBob, the best, like your best friend. What's that song? Best day ever he did was Patrick, and it was something about them being best friends. Like this person wanted to come in as to where though they was going to be the best thing to you, but it was you that was really given to this person. You was giving your vulnerability to this person. You see, this person wanted your cup. It's not like a fair exchange where it's both given to each other. No, this person just wanted only your cup. Because they wanted to know and figure out, with the seven of cups, how the freak is this person still standing? How the freak is this person grounded and emotionally stable? Okay? Because you're grounded and emotionally stable. And over here, too, emotionally stable. Only reason why you got in the water is because you wanted to... Be you, your true, authentic self. 
Not saying that you was going out being naive and gullible. It's just that every step of the way or every person that was put in your path or put in your direction or that was brought to you was like either you're going to pass or you're going to fail. But these people knew who you were, the empress and the... I said the empress. Okay, so you could be the divine feminine. The queen of cups and the high priestess. So all they wanted to do was to even see how they can definitely fragment you, fragment you and take and siphon your energy. This person was giving all types of offerings with the five of wands. It was causing you, like, was causing your ancestors and your spirit guides to fight this all for you. Okay? Because you could have thought that this person was a good friend of you or this person ain't going to mean you no harm. They don't mean nothing bad. No, this person was in the devil energy the whole time. Okay? This person was in the devil energy the whole time. That's why they couldn't seem to defeat you because you always came out on top regardless. That's this person walking away now in the Five of Cups. And whoever else they had in cahoots with them doing these offerings to fragment your energy and have you unstable and all over the place, now they're stuck in the Seven of Cups energy. Okay? Full of illusions. Because this person was so adamant to put a veil over you. But you was already heavily protected with these six swords right in front of you. And your, excuse me, ancestors and spirit guides was guiding you along the way. Like, no, 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 you cannot stop and distract this person. We know what you're doing to the, towards this person. But that's the thing. When you're being led in certain directions or led to certain people, places, and things, you're not going to know why you was being led to that person. But your spirit guides and your ancestors do because they're always above you, over you, and watching you. Because the people that you're being led to, guide to, or presented to, half of these people are devils in disguises. Okay? These are people that you're having to war off in the spirit and fight off. Principalities that they keep continuing to dibble and dabble in with this two of pentacles energy. Trying to send you confusions and illusions and have you all over the place not knowing what's going on because they want to keep you in this five of cups energy. But they the ones that's getting in that five of cups energy. Ooh, my nose is itching like shit. Excuse me. That's how you know I'm channeling, like, the truth. Like, these people don't know why they're being sent to you or guided to you. Okay? And you don't know neither. That's the mystery of it all, the high priestess. Because it's like you're in training. Okay? It's like your your ancestors in look, Queen of Swords, that's the truth, what I'm spitting. It's like you're in training. Mm-hmm. It's like you're in training. You're you be set up with the hangman. Always on a new journey with this two of wands. Fighting through principalities with the devil card that people keep trying to Pull you from all different areas. But the more you stay balanced with your masculine and feminine energy and connected to the divine with that big angel up there, you'll be able to like literally, where it go? Five of swords. You'll be literally able to defeat these people once and for all because they're guiding you. She don't know, she can't see nothing with all them swords right there. They just saying, come on, baby, just, just follow us. Just follow us. We just need you to head down, stay focused. Just follow us, okay? We're, we're moving this boat for you, okay? We're moving this boat for you to get to where you need to be. Don't focus too much on why you're in the situation or why you're dealing with these people or why these people keep attacking you or coming towards you. We know why, yeah. They know why. Because these same smoke and mirrors or illusions these people try to put up on you by putting up a veil, your ancestors is going to already block you from that. Because they're trying to keep you mentally conflicted, five of swords, not knowing which direction to go. They get some form of satisfaction by seeing you in this five of cups energy. 
But every time you fight back and you war off these people that's throwing obstacles in your way with just two of pentacles and five of wands, you still become the overachiever. You still move to calmer waters. It's like sweet sailing. Okay? Two of swords, I'm telling you, they just wanted to keep putting a veil over you. But you didn't lose love and the divine. You always kept pouring out your love, your heart, your devotion towards the divine. So they're always going to give you that helping hand when needed to pour back into you. Because you didn't give it. And these people was coming at you hard. Five of swords, the devil, the five of ones, five of cups. They was trying. It was like, hit me with your best shot. Mm -mm. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. I'm telling you, they be trying to hit the hit you with their best shot. I'm telling you. And everything just got rejected. It just got voided. It's like hitting a brick wall, literally. It was like a missed opportunity. That these people, places, and things keep trying to continue to do. Because they know you have an essence of a child like. They know that you have that inner child still within you, page of cups, that vulnerability. And they want to play and tamper with your vulnerability. Misuse and abuse your vulnerability. But all they do is just line you up for bigger and better blessings to come. Because even when these people do this to you, you don't operate out of hate. You don't sit up here and do tit for tat because that's what they wanted you to do two of pentacles tit for tat they wanted you to go back and forth with them you said to hell with that you say you know what i'm gonna do sit in here tap into my intuition continue to move and operate in my heart space so that way i can continue to have the guidance of my ancestors i don't gotta sit up here and spew hate at you or, or or sit up here and try to give revenge or go back at you because you kept trying to attack me that's the whole point of not seeing. 22-22. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yeah, you can do all those things to me in a malicious way with the five of swords. But I'm going to just act like I don't even fucking know you. Who are you? I was told to keep on moving. Like... Mm -mm -mm. Yep, because that's what they trying to do. They trying to put you in this five of swords, five of cups, five of wands energy. And it's like it's going back to them every time with the two of pentacles. Because their intentions, it's like they're setting intentions on you. Yeah, you're in this nine of pentacles energy, very abundant, very prosperous. They're setting intentions on you to see how they can get you all out of whack, get you discombobulated. Make you second guess yourself, make you doubt yourself, make you feel insecure, or make you not feel as confident. You feel what I'm saying? To delay you, to slow you down. Yeah, four swords in judgment. And the page of swords, this could be people that's watching you. A group of people. People you work with. It could be people that your masculine is dealing with or that your masculine know. Or trying to get away from or something or whatever the case may be. It's like all these people are watching you. Giving getting giving you a life review with your life, pages swords and judgment, to see how they can put you in the four swords and the knight of pentacles. As long as they can keep you quiet, shut you up, or close you out, or block you off, keep you to where as though. You stay in this meditative state where you're all up in your head space day in and day out. Okay? That they will be able to call judgment upon you in your life. By lies, slander, gossip, rumors, watching you, studying you, copying you, taking ideas from you. Okay? Trying to tap in and out of your sacred, your solar plexus, trying to tap in and out of your energy to see, oh, what we can get from this person. Because they look over and see you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You continue to keep growing and evolving no matter how many times these people keep trying to 
whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, verbally attack you. It don't matter because it's all out here. What's this seven of swords in reverse, spirit? What's this seven of swords in reverse, please? Seven of swords in reverse with the queen of cups and the hair font. I mean, and the high priestess. Yeah, the three of cups, I'm telling you. This could be a group of people. I'm hearing a group association. Okay. What's this three cups? But you're single. You're in this nine of pentacles energy. You're single. And they worried about you. Who you're dating or dealing with with the two of cups. In a very obsessive way. But every time you step on the scene, you just keep planting and growing healthy seeds. Okay, because you're in this green, abundant, prosperous energy. You're in your heart chakra. That's why the queen of cups and the high priest is out here on top of that with the page of cups. You don't got time to be sitting up here competing with other people, places, and things. Because that's not what you were sent here to do, to be of duty of. You're not here to sit to be a troll or to sit up here and manipulate people. That's what they want to make you out to be, a manipulative person, a, like somebody that cons people, take from people, keep people stuck and blindfolded. No, because even if these people was in the dark with the devil energy, the five of cups, the two of swords, these people still find their way out of it. It's not like you're leaving these people in the dark. Like, come on now. That's why I say everything these people are doing to you is being rejected with the four cuts. Because you're helping these people actually see what it is that they're needing to see, whether it's within themselves or around them. Like, come on now. They ain't got time yet. The moon card. It's hidden. Look. The moon and the sun shining the light. It's like solar eclipse energy. The moon and the sun reflecting back to you what is within you that's that two of cups when i first came out and said that the moon and the sun cancer and leo energy cancer scorpio pisces leo energy so you can be a cancer leo cusp or you can have it in your chart okay or you could be a person hmm This is like good energy though, the sun and the moon. You can have somebody that you're connected to or someone that's being guided to you that can have almost the same placements as you. This person could want a reconciliation with the three of cups. Or this person could be the same exact. I don't know why I heard clone. So you can have someone that's wanting to be your clone or someone that's your clone. The nine of pentacles is out here as well. Or someone is one. Like someone could be studying you only to be your clone. This person could have like a weird obsession towards you or some form of hate installed in them. This just went to a turn. That's why when I paused on the sun and this moon energy, it, made, it was a reason why my guys was like, no, take a minute. Like someone is so secretly disturbed and obsessed with you that... It's very much toxic. This person wants to be you. This person wants to take your image. This person wants to take on the form of you. Okay? Now, you could be illuminated to these things in a dream state. Or you could you are someone that is very tapped into the dream state. Yeah, the emperor. It's a masculine energy. This person could be very domineering, I heard. Yeah, look, the eight of pentacles. This masculine is secretly low-key working on you because he wants to be you, okay? Or this could be a feminine energy that's in a masculine energy, very dominating or just very dominating or controlling or I don't freaking know. I'm hearing pessimism. Pessimism. 
Like this person is studying you and they're copying your craft or trying to reduplicate your craft. Okay. Like this person is only one original copy and that's you. This person got all these different copies of you. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is really actually a masculine energy that's trying to be a clone of you or this is a very feminine energy, very masculine though. A feminine and her masculine energy, very masculine. Because something ain't making sense. Before, before I close this out, let's get this seven of cups. Because maybe this seven of cups will tell us more. It's definitely some some veils around you, hidden motives, hidden intentions, hidden agendas, dealing with people, places, and things. But this could be in work, in your work career, your love life, your finances, three of wands. These people are at a distance from you. You don't even probably know these people. Or these people don't even know you. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, hermit in the world call. So something is shifting. Something is going through a complete change. Because you discover whatever these people are doing to you with that hermit energy. That's why when it's... That's why I don't move until I, I'm i told to move. My spirit guides and my ancestors say do a reading or do a message. That's when I do it. Because I don't need nobody sitting up here making it seem like I'm copying after you or stealing your work or doing none of that boo-boo. Because I don't have to. When my spirit guides tell me to do something, I do it. Because nine times out of ten... It's going to be pertaining to me or I'm going to resonate with Because I know people be sitting up here in the background stealing and copying and taking my shit and trying to portray it or make a mockery out of me as in it's your shit. It's not your work. And it's not cheap. Point blank period. Queen of Cuts and the High Priestess. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And that's my sign. I'm a cancer. Like, come on. We ain't doing that. Anywho, what's this seven of cups? Yeah, the strength call, I'm telling you. That shit is backfiring in a major way. I'm surprised the tower ain't come out here. You are too strong and powerful for people to keep trying to throw illusions up at you. Or smoke and mirrors. Give me more on the seven of cups. Like, it's just not happening. That's why these people are trying to ante up the the magic or whatever they got going on or spells or rituals or whatever the fuck they got going on to defeat you. But you already defeat these people. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Trying to make you have a lackluster of your passions. Make you not want to go and chase after your dreams. Like, come on now. Because you're a very gifted person. You have a lot to offer and a lot to give towards humanity. And these people know that. They see that. So they don't want you to be a part of it. Okay? Because you're actually changing people's lives for the better. You're not keeping people stuck behind bells and shit. What's this Knight of Wands in reverse? Man, I'm going to need people to get their shit together. Yeah, Six of Wands, they're so focused on your success. They don't even want you to be at the top of the top or the highest of the highest or whatever. Okay, because you fill people's minds up with ideas because you're the highest in the room. And all these people can do is fill their mind up with scarcity, fear tactics, illusions, drama, and blah, 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 blah. Don't nobody want to keep hearing that. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, this is your legacy. This is what you're supposed to build. This was left to you and generations to come. So whatever these people got going on, they just got to stop what they're doing. Because they cannot take what you have built. Thank you, Spirit. They cannot take what you have created. They cannot take what you have started. You invested so much time and energy and planting healthy seeds for yourself by sitting here doing the work. We done went from the seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Where the seven of pentacles go? Because it was out here. I must have put it back. But you done went from the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. Just alone by yourself, by keeping yourself focused and head fast. Steadfast, head fast, whatever it's called. Like you have patience with yourself. You was very patient. You didn't give up. You didn't have temper tantrums. You didn't look and view everybody else's shit and say, oh, whoa, why I'm not at the top or why I didn't get this and why I didn't get that. No, you still show gratitude. You show appreciation for where you are. 
Because when your spirit guides and ancestors know that you're ready for them to make shit shake and move the way it's supposed to, these people are going to be in for a rude awakening. I'm telling you, they're going to be shocked and surprised. I see a bunch of mouth dropping. Okay. And it's not by you being in your ego because you still, you, you already had an ego death. Like you could care less about what other people got going on, what they're doing. As long as you are actually being that person to help people stay empowered and to keep moving forward and pushing forward. Okay. Like competition don't shake you or break you. That shit, you eat that shit for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Like real life shit. And because you're like very truth spoken, you're outspoken, you're very blunt. And everything that you say is not made up or make believe. I'm going to need for people to stop living in the fantasy world and la la land and all that shit. And realize, wake up to their own world of their own reality. And stop trying to put other people in, in fairy tale land and shit. That's why I be like, I don't even be trying to keep talking about the daggone divine masculine, divine feminine journey anymore. That's why if I do collectives, it's whatever comes up, comes out type of energy. And if it's meant to be said, it's going to be said. Can we get some positive messages, Spirit, please? And thank you. That's why I'm going to keep feeding y'all illusions. Oh, this man coming or this female that's doing this, this, that, and the third. No. If a person is wanting to change, they'll be willing to change. If that person don't, okay, move on, sovereign, I'll see you nowhere next lifetime, whatever the case may be. Don't hinder, slow down, and hold your life because somebody is sitting up here giving false illusions and shit like they want to be with you and be around you like no move around the very thing that may be overwhelming me at this moment someone else is praying for exactly instead of praying for others pray for yourself okay people always want to be praying for other people instead of praying for themselves and they not even praying they praying on people downfalls and shit we not doing that over here okay don't bring that shit over here on my channel we got i didn't come this far to allow doubt to win over exactly these people want to install doubt and fear and all this shit of who you are like what because they know that you are powerful they know that you are a force to be reckoned with by yourself this is the longest message i ever did we got i will create beauty in the lives of others today exactly you see the beauty in all things because you're in universal alignment you don't need to sit up here and look at the next person because what they have going on what they got going on in their life that you can't get there too. No, we all can get there and it all takes time. Okay? We have, when I give up the need for others' approval, I am free to become who I truly am. Exactly. Be you, love who you are, and stand in that shit. And I'm going to take the rest of these and we out of here. When I accept myself as I am, I am better able to grow into who I am made to be. Exactly. Confirmation again. When your thoughts start to race, breathe in fully look deeper peace is waiting for you there okay always be at peace within yourself okay close the world out close people out if you have to remove yourself if you have to close out the distractions okay because those are other people places things thoughts i am fully loved and worthy of it exactly know that you're worthy of everything and any and everything that coming towards your life okay it's taken Oh, yeah, it's taking living through my darkest days to become the strongest version of me. Exactly. You had to go through the dark to get to the light. And sometimes you had to go back to the dark in order to continue to be of light. Ain't no way in hell you're going to sit up here and tell me all freaking day long y'all is love and light all freaking day, all freaking long. Or, or y'all don't have days where y'all at y'all darkest time and moment. Like, we need to real life understand what duality is here. And duality is all about you taking accountability and acceptance of yourself, the darkness of you, and the light of you. So, this is all I have to say. Peace and blessings, my lovely, beautiful babies. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification. Peace.